Hello everybody, welcome back. Um, how do I even start this off? I haven't done a Warframe build test in I think well over three or two months. I'm not sure. I feel like it's been a long time. But we are back better than ever. Do not look at the fact that my Vagor Heck is 29. I put a Forma on it, so chill. But we are back. As you can see, I have Mirage Prime. Next episode will be Ember Prime and then Hydroid Prime and so forth. I, I just, I need to get back into this, because I feel for me, like Warfare Build Test was one of my like favorite things to do. And then like I got so caught up with other things that I kind of drifted away from my niche on this channel, which is basically Warframe. If y'all don't even know. So, yeah. But, welcome back! It's been a long time. It has been a very, very long time since I have done anything on Warframe. Basically. Well, Warframe Build Test, basically. But we are back. And what Warframe Build Test is, is I take one Warframe, I test it against a bunch of enemies, um, use all of its abilities, use its abilities to kill all the enemies, and see how effective it is, and take the pros and cons, or like whether you should get it at this level or not, or if it's good frame, or it needs a, like, a rework, or so forth, so forth. And I'm going to get in more depth with this, because I feel like it's my own duty to do that if I want to keep this going, because they're basically like very thrown out, but I'd rather not do that, but put more time into them, because it's like really fun to do. Same with the house flips, like I enjoy doing those. I just have to find the right mental capacity to do that. So that's why I'm taking a break from those two. So you will see a survival build, not a survival build, you will see a survival episode up. Episode two has been deleted because I can't find it, but episode three will be up because that's what it's called. Cringy. And yes, and then this will be right after it. So keep your eye on it, but let's get into the video. Basically, um, I have my Mirage Prime. I have this color scheme, this other color scheme, which is kind of like my favorite as well. But I love this one. I just, I love, what, what is this palette that I'm using the energy from? Oop, almost had a burp. It's the Storm palette. I recommend buy the Storm palette if you like dark colors in a way. Because they have some good shades of blue. Like a lot, actually. Or if you're more into that, I like to have like purples and stuff. You can also go for the Lotus palette. That's also a good one. Or you can go, what am I doing? The Lotus palette, or from the Lotus palette, you can use a Twilight one, because that also has a big selection of purples as well. They're vibrant as well, like, you'll get a good selection, but I digress. That was this color scheme, this is the first one, by the way. So, yeah, this is by far my favorite. It's like, basically just white, two shades of blue, a gold, and a light blue. So, and the blue's not too bright either, like, it's right it's right in between, like it's a good blue, okay. On uh, my Vagor Heck, as you can see, it's not the best build. My Vagor Marilock, which I just got, which I need to put another format into. Actually, how many formats do I have on this? One. Okay, when I make more formats, I want to put more. Because I, I think I put like four formats on my Quanta, so get ready to see that. Also, I want to do weapon testing. I'm so ready for that. I've been like thinking about it in my mind how I would go about it but you might actually see me do weapon testings so we'll see and then the Enduro which we will pay no mind to and rest in peace will not bring Spooty with me she's right here though not not Death Cube there she is and all her stupidness we're not bringing her because she makes noises and she kills everything so yeah but before we get started if you like the video please like comment and subscribe and tell me what is your favorite prime that you're looking up to or your favorite Prime right now. By hands down, mine is Mirage Prime because she looks the best in my opinion. But nothing will take my place in my heart than my Valkyrie Prime because that that's beautiful. Like that that's gorgeous. I can't. But yes. Basically, her first ability is overpowered as crap. Yeah. <laughs> her first ability with the Sinoid Simulator way back in like 2000 and like 17 and 16. It was overpowered as crap, so, yeah. Basically, what this ability does, well, it won't really do anything with mine because I have a shotgun, but also the animations changed as well. You put up decoys of yourself, oh, basically, and it's kind of like multi-shot. You can 
clear out like a whole room of enemies. Let's actually go back here. Basically, it's kind of like a little barrier. Also, the Vicar Merlock, by the way, second, it's like the best secondary ever. Like, oh my lord, I can never be more thankful for him giving it to me. Thank you, Squirtle. Love you. But, basically, that is her first ability. I love using it with the Sinoid Simulator, or the Tonko, or the Czar, or the Lens. Those weapons are basically multi-shot intensive. So if your weapon does like an area effect, this will be a great ability for that. Because it will just take up more space. For me though, with the lens, I have to shoot from long distance because that thing will take me out in one shot. So, yeah, you know what gun I'm talking about. I could probably show it to you real quick, actually. Where is it? Aha! Uh -huh. Nope. Here it is in all of its glory. You cannot shoot it. See, it says warning. This is retarded. You cannot shoot it anywhere near you. Because they'll put a frost proc on you. And if you're slow, if you're slow for him like Rhino, you're basically screwed if you don't bullet jump and get out of there immediately. Because it will kill your character. And yeah, it's like a one shot. Even when I have no mods on it, it's still one shot in my Valkyrie Prime. So, And I have a really good build on her. So we're not even like... It was ridiculous. But that was Mirage's first ability, which is Hall of Mirrors. The other two I'm not going to really get into with besides... Prism, because this, you know, Eclipse, it won't really change in here since it's gonna stay the same. So I'm just gonna let this actually wear out. Let's see, hold on. Hey, half the damage. Oh, missed. Gosh dang it. I need to put a couple more forms on this, then it'll be overpowered. Basically, Prism, I call it my little disc ball of death. Because all I do is this. What? They can get back here now? My safe haven for all my videos. Are you serious? No. No. They're kidding. They removed that, did they? Oh my lord. They can't get back here. Oh, I fell. Oh my lord. Are you serious? Really? Okay, I see you Warframe, I see you playing games, whatever. Change is new. Basically, it's a little disco ball of death. It doesn't seem to do any damage to them because they're level 100. Never mind, they're taking damage now, okay. I have horrible aim. Okay. Basically, Prism is overpowered as crap. I did not mean to do that. I don't want it because it's, it's annoying. Basically, Prism is overpowered as crap, and I recommend if you do use a Mirage, go for a Prism build or Hall of Mirrors build. Because you will be you won't be disappointed. Basically, there's not that much to really show with Mirage. So, as a little secret, I didn't tell y'all, I'm gonna do two Warframes in one. You like how so remember how I said I was gonna do Ember Prime next video? Well, psych. I'm actually going to do with this video as well. So, you're going to go from Mirage Prime to good old Amber Prime. Do not look at what she's wearing. Let me change the colors and these weapons. Since I don't want to change the way it was, I'm actually going to stick with the weapons I was using on my other character as well. To despair, I was leveling that up. Don't judge me. I'm going for an unedited look, okay? I have no melee on, jeez. Also, I found this new thing on Sedna. Hydron, best place ever to go. You level up so fast. Not even lying. So, here we are. Here's my Ember. I'm so happy that I got an Ember Prime. So, basically, I might cut all that out, we don't know. But, basically, here's Ember Prime in all of her glory. I tell you one thing, just already a con, she's very hard to color. You just can't tweak and mess with the colors that much with her. There's not much you can do. But let's already get started. Basically, her first ability is called Fireball, which does a lot of damage, actually. Not to 
their level, but... Oh my lord, they're coming at me. Okay, let's... Before they... Get over here. So, that's her first ability. Ooh. Her second ability is Accelerant, which basically stuns all nearby enemies. It makes them more prone to fire damage. You can do this in air, too. It's not limited to anything. I usually just keep stunning this to get headshots. Like, if I have a Rivermaw that requires headshots, I'm taking her with me. Or I'll take my Equinox, because I can stun them. I have horrible aim. Okay, yeah, they're gonna take me out. Jeez. Okay. Let's... Oh, my lord. Oof! Okay. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I do not script these. Now, her third ability is Fire Blast, which basically does that. It's overpowered as crap if you combine this with Accelerant as well. Because they do so much. And if you have, like, a gun that does straight-up fire damage, this will one-shot them, for sure. I mean, the Vapor Heck is already overpowered as crap, and this can one-shot a heavy gunner. Right now, my bell's a little wonky on it, though. There. So, that's all of it. And her fourth, and probably well-known new ability that just got actually reworked in a way. Not really reworked. Would it be called reworked? Whatever. It got tweaked. Um, World on Fire, which is beautiful. I love World on Fire. I never die. It's bet it's just beautiful. Okay. If you use an Ember Prime and you're telling me you never use World on Fire, you're missing out. Like come on. Also on top of that, put quick thinking on her. That will save you a long time. See? Look. Look. Okay, they're oh crap, I couldn't get away. Hey. My energy was low. Like I was going to say, quick thinking basically takes like a good amount of your energy to, you know, keep you from dying. So it's really sm- Okay, let me just kill them, because they're actually going to be a problem. Yay, they're dead. So, yeah, there's not much for me to talk about. Since Ember Prime is out, let's do the pros and cons of her first. For starters, the pros, she is a really good-looking Warframe. And she's a great Prime. She's the OG. We all love her. The second pro, she's very strong and you don't need to put that much effort into her. I mean, there are World on Fire builds. I mean, I need to tweak mine some more. I'm still getting used to it. But besides that, she's not difficult to use. She's very self-explanatory. And number three, she's just all around great. She's still good in in-game and new game. Like, there's no way that she's going to end up being one of those frames where she's just weird. Like, she works perfectly with others. Granted, if you're all trying to get kills and she has World on Fire, it's going to be a little difficult, but besides that, basically there's not that much of a problem. Her cons, on the other hand, she was quite difficult to get. Not even going to lie, the blueprint was a, was a pain, okay? That was really difficult. But besides that, not much of a problem. Um, she's very hard to color. I've already mentioned this. Coloring her is very difficult. Because, as you can see, there's not much you can tweak on her. So, what, like, the black on her, if I turn that to white, it would throw the whole color scheme off, and I have to change up the colors around, I gotta change the energy. Like, it's just, it's too much. It's weird. Like, I think we're so, like, programmed to, like, like the new frames. I hit a mic. Because, you know, they have all these different ways to be colored, whereas old frames... They're just basic, but we kind of drifted away from the whole basic coloring system. So I had to get back into that, and this is what I got out of it, which is just, you know, blue energy, red cape, because I kind of like her with the accent red cape. She has red on her, don't worry, but whatever. And her third con, in my opinion, she does not work well with others. Like, I just said she does, but she really doesn't sometimes. Like, let's say if you're trying, like if you're a Nidus and there's an Ember Prime there, you might as well give up because you're not going to get any kills if she has World on Fire on. It's like, her World on Fire is overpowered as crap, so it kind of makes it really difficult to do anything else. Which is not a bad thing, but it's also not a good thing. So, we're just going to leave it at that. And now on to Mirage Prime. Okay, Mirage Prime. Basically, let's start with the, con the, the cons. You know, whatever, cons. First of all, she was also very difficult to color. Because she's one of those simple things. You could change the fabric and energy color. 
and basically have like a whole new color scheme in three seconds. Like, it's that easy. But covering her was difficult. I had to watch a GGP video like I think three times before I could grasp around my head to not do what I was normally doing. So, yeah, that's how we got this color scheme. The other con, she was a pain to get. I think it took her, I think it took me a month to get her. She was very difficult. Whereas Emma Prime took me like what a week and a couple of days, a week and two days, a week, a week and three days, two days, whatever. Emma Prime, sorry, I'm like, const wow, constipated, congested. Basically, Emma Prime was very easier to get. I don't know because maybe I was in a group. I was, when I was farming Emma Prime with a group of people, not Emma Prime. Uh, Mirage Prime with a group of people like my friends, and then we all kind of split up, and then I couldn't get this stupid part for the longest time. So now that I have it, you know. I don't regret getting Mirage Prime, like she's a great frame, and I recommend her to everyone, if you have the time to farm her though. So yeah, if you don't really have that much free time to farm her, don't be like, I have to go buy her, like there's no point to buy a frame when you can farm it, okay? In my motto, there really isn't, unless it's necessary. And the third con, besides her being hard to color, and her being really hard to get, she really doesn't work that well with different people. Like Hall, of, like Hall of Mirrors and Prism, like all these abilities by herself make her a great solo frame and a survival frame. But besides that, working well with other like Warframes doesn't go. So for me, I feel like Amber Prime and Mirage Prime, they both don't go that well with other and it like you know Warframes is whereas Gara. She is a support frame and works well with others, same way as Haro is a support frame, you know what I mean? Like, these aren't support frames, but they are still good. So, I still recommend both experiences of using these Warframes with a 10 out of 10, so I'm not even gonna hate. Mirage Prime, I love her. Ember Prime, I love her too. And yeah, I recommend you get both Primes. You have a couple more days before the access for Ember, Frost, and Loki Prime goes away. So I suggest you both go hit that up real quick before that disappears. Make your, get your build set up and go sell them for plat. You will be rich. Trust me. But besides that, I would just do it just to get Ember Prime. Because I already got Frost Prime and I don't need a Loki Prime because I have my Ivara and I don't care for Loki. Don't judge me. But besides that, I recommend Mirage Prime and Ember Prime because they're really good Warframes and they have good concept art. And yeah, so I, I can't even like hate at all. A lot of people are like complaining about Ember's like new fourth ability change in a way. Like now the longer it is, the more energy it drains. I mean, I don't have a problem with it because all you do is press four and you get like the efficiency build. It wouldn't go down at all. Like it needed to be changed so she could meld more with the new generation of the Warframes than being the press for to win, kind of like how Saren was. So, yeah. But besides that, if you liked the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And comment which which one of your favorite Warframes would you want to see a Prime? Like, it's not a Prime right now, but like, which one of your non-Prime Warframes that's your favorite you want to see become a Prime? Leave that in the com bleh, comment description. Leave that in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!